Hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla and I appreciate you being here today. So today I am crocheting seaweed. Yes, seaweed. I never thought I'd be crocheting seaweed. Never thought I'd have a need to crochet seaweed. But guess what? I'm crocheting seaweed and I'm bringing you along with me because I may never crochet seaweed again. <laughs> This may be a once in a lifetime thing. So, guess what? We're making a video about it. <laughs> so, I talked to my son Dakota. He's the one that's going to be helping me put the deco mesh stuff on the wreath. And so, uh, Dakota is a pastry chef at a um, very expensive restaurant that we have locally. I've never ate at this restaurant because I can't afford to eat at this restaurant. But um, people rave about the food there and go on and on about the desserts. And it's supposed to, you know, be a really great restaurant. I know you get a tiny bit of food for a lot of money. That I'm just saying. I know, like, deviled eggs to get, I think you get, um, it's like, you get four, you get two eggs because you get four slices. This is like an appetizer thing. It's $10. So can you just imagine how much they're making off this dozen eggs? <laughs> if they're selling them two eggs for $10. Wow. Anyway, um, and the entrees and stuff like that are just like mega expensive. But anyway, I'm just rambling there. So Dakota hasn't had an assistant for a little while. He lost the assistant that he had. And so um, he has been working like 12, 14 hours a day doing everything that he does. He is the pastry chef, so he does all the desserts. He also does the breads and the pastas. But also, the man who owns this restaurant also owns a coffee shop. And so... Dakota does the pastries and breads and stuff for the coffee shop. So he goes in the mornings to the coffee shop and does uh, and bakes, I don't know, muffins, cookies, scones, whatever. I don't I have no idea really. <clears throat> and then he goes to the restaurant and starts prepping for the night service there and making all his things that he has to make over there. And then he goes back over to the restaurant to the coffee shop in the afternoon and does some more stuff and then he goes back to the restaurant at night for the night um they're only open at night so for the dinner period that they're open whatever i don't know what i'm trying to say so he has he has been run ragged and he is very very tired he usually comes to visit us every weekend and this past weekend i said dakota just rest i know you're so tired just take this weekend and rest. Don't try to come out and everything, which I'd love to have seen him. But I know he was so run down and so tired. So I did talk to him on the phone, but he, he just rested this weekend. But I talked to him last night. He called me and said that they did hire a, an assistant for him. And so he's training her this week. And they think things are going to you know be better next week. But anyway, all that to say that he um is going to come out this weekend to visit with us and help me with this wreath what i need him to do is like let me hold the put the stuff on there the um tool and then him take the pipe cleaners and twist on it to hold them onto the hold it onto the wreath so i just need an extra pair of hands or at least five more fingers <laughs> five more fingers I could do it but anyway <laughs> he's gonna help me do that part and then then I'll be like rearranging stuff and all that but stay to the end of this video because I'm going to show you how I've got the wreath laid out and everything I've got um and I'm just playing with it trying to um you know make it match my vision that I have for the wreath I have a vision that I'm going for so um, I'm crocheting seaweed today. And so with that, I have these sticks. Um, they're metal pieces of metal wire and it's pretty sturdy. Like it's not really, I, I can bend it, but I don't want to put a crease in it. So it's pretty sturdy wire. 
and I have a package of these that I obviously used for something else, but I don't remember what. I'm pretty sure this package either came from Michaels or Walmart, but I've long lost the tag that it goes on, so I'm not sure what, um, I'm not sure what it was called or where it came from, but anyway, I have these that I'm putting my seaweed on, and then I was looking through my craft supplies, and I found this little, um, foam block like a floral floral block craft block that i got at dollar tree for one time before and didn't use and then i also have this one that also came from dollar tree so somehow or another i'm going to use these to put my wire in to hold my seaweed and i'm thinking this one might be the best but it's too wide so i'll probably cut it right down the center and just use half of it and cover it in the tool stuff and um, use half of that. So let's go make some seaweed. I'm just taking a darker green and just chaining a chain, no certain length. I'm certainly not counting, just chaining away. I'm trying to do my um, seaweed different lengths, so, yeah. I have some laid out here that I've already done, so I'm just trying to get different lengths in there. And I'm going to do this one kind of short, just so I can show you guys how I'm doing it. I mean, I'm making this up on the fly, so there's no right way or wrong way of doing it. I'm just making it up to fit my vision. This is what I had visioned whenever I was thinking about the wreath. Okay, so I've got my center part chained and I'm going to change to this lime green. don't know if you have the need to crochet seaweed but this is the way I'm doing it <laughs> and I just thought I would share in case you decide to crochet seaweed this also might could be a house plant I'm not sure so then I'm just single crocheting down the length of my chain. Oh, let me know. I got a a knot here. Not really a knot. It just needs to be untangled. All right. Yeah, I'm just going to single crochet all the way down my chain, and that's why I did make this one as a little short piece so that I could show you what I'm doing. So I have a few more things to create for this wreath. Um, and then I'm going to be moving on, working on a different wreath. I've got a bunch of leaves to crochet for the strawberry wreath. But I do have most of the items for the strawberry wreath already made. I just got to do some leaves. And I don't think I have to do a whole bunch because I'm already going to have a lot of greenery on the wreath. But I want some crocheted leaves on there. So it won't take me long to put that one, finish that one up. And then I've got to work on flowers for the girl in the swing wreath. And um, then my Christmas wreath. And I was talking to my son. And he... He liked the idea of Santa and cookies and milk. 
So when I get down to the end here, I just kind of um, crocheted an extra um, single crochet in there, and maybe even two, so there's three in that one. And then I'm just coming over to the other side of the chain, and I'm just poking through and doing single crochets. on the opposite side of the chain so anyway talking with Dakota um, he liked the idea of Santa with milk and cookies but then we also talked about doing gingerbread men that that would be cute also so we haven't made up our mind I haven't made up my mind <laughs> he was just trying to help me decide I haven't made up my mind which of those I'm going to do. Um, I think they would both be cute reefs. I just need to decide which one. And get to work on the amigurumi part of it. So someone had asked me how come I hadn't done my wreaths already. Well, for one, I didn't even know we were going to have a fair because that's been, um, we haven't had one since 2019. So I didn't know if we were going to have one for sure or not. And two, I don't have a place to store these wreaths so they don't get smushed um, if I make them ahead of time. So, um... Even in years past, when I have entered wreaths, I make them just before the fair. Because I don't. if I made them um, like earlier in the year, they would be all smushed and not as pretty by the time the fair rolled around. So that's why I make the wreaths last. Which I do have a few more things I want to make for the fair that I haven't made in the past you know, year to go in it. So, that's why I don't do wreaths year-round or have made them already. So, I single crochet down one side and, and then down the opposite side. And now I'm just poking through, putting some single crochets. No particular place. Like, this is so messed up. Like, seriously, I'm not trying to um, do anything special here. <laughs> so now I'm going to do some double crochets. This is the bottom part of it. I'm going to do um, up some double crochets coming up this side here. And I'm not doing this like a certain number of stitches. Matter of fact, my double crochets on this side will not match the double crochets on the other side. And I'm purposely doing that because um, this is nature and nature does not always grow um, symmetrical. And to me, it would look weird if I did make it all symmetrical. So... Mine is um, not symmetrical, for sure, and I'm doing that on purpose. I used to be symmetrical, but hey, I'm no longer symmetrical. <laughs> so I don't like for other things to be symmetrical either. Yeah. I did a single crochet there instead of a double, but I'm fixing to change to half double crochets. I'll just go up a few more. Okay, 
Now I'm going to do just some half double crochets. And I'm going to go ahead and cut my tail, that green tail. I did weave that, I mean, I did uh, like sew that in for a little while, but I can cut that now. Okay, so half double crochets. And now I'm just going to do some single crochets. Um, and now I'm going to do a few slip stitches. Just to keep this um, tilt more pointy. It's not really pointed, but it's, um, you know, the taller part of it. And I'm going to chain two here and come over this way and. Just slip stitch down this side for a little bit. And like I said, I'm not trying to match the other side. I'm not counting the other side. I'm just... I'm just, you know, doing my thing here. Okay, now I'm going to single crochet for a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to half double crochet. And now I'm going to double crochet until I get to the bottom. That split up, so. <laughs> So now I'm at the bottom of my little seaweed piece, and I'm just going to double crochet in the last one, and then slip stitch back into that. So there is my, uh -oh, my piece of seaweed, and you can see that, like I said, uh, the sides do not match and that does help it kind of um, you know turn and do different shapes so that they're not all like exactly the same okay so so far this is the seaweed strips I have made and I have all different sizes I have this little short one um, I have a tall one here 
and another tall one. I think this is the tallest one. I was just trying to go different sizes so that they're um, all a little bit different because we all are a little bit different. And then I have another short one. So that is my seaweed. And what I'm going to do is hot glue my seaweed onto the wire. And so that's another thing I need either somebody to help me with is to cut this with the wire cutters. My hands are just not strong enough to squeeze it all the way to clamp to cut it. So I'll be hot gluing these on these um, wires for my um, seaweed stems. So let's go see what all I've got laid out. And oh, I didn't tell you what yarns I'm even using for my seaweed. I'm using Red Heart um, Spring Green for the seaweed itself. And then I have this green that I don't really know what it is. It's It was in my floppy boxes. Um, I'm using that for the centerpiece of my seaweed. And I don't know why I wanted to put the centerpiece a different color. A darker color and then go around it it was just what I envisioned in my head and so that's what I'm going with so I have um, four or five pieces of seaweed um, I don't know if I need any more or not I might just wait and see how it's looking because I can always crochet up another pair piece of seaweed and put on there <laughs> so let's go see what I've got laid out for the wreath Here's a glimpse of just what the wreath might come out looking like. I have my uh, foam blocks for the craft, the craft blocks for the seaweed, the um, wire sticks, my mermaid, who I have not done hair for yet, but I believe it's going to be pink, and um, my sea turtle, jellyfish, seahorse. Um, there I have the tool that's going to go around the wreath and my blue pipe cleaners i have nemo the clownfish the seaweed um, a crab the uh, clam the little scary puffy fish puffer fish and an octopus so that is what i have so far i think i have one more fish that i do want to crochet to go on here i had that fish already made with a bigger hook that I made a while back, but I want to redo it with a smaller hook so that it will fit proportional for this wreath. And then I have um, just a few more added touches that I will be making to go on the wreath. So yeah, it's coming together really great. I love all the different, little different things. Um, um, yeah, I do have a few small things I wanna do some <clears throat> starfish and some seashells and a few more things like that that will also go on here and some plants that will go in the center part so yeah I'm loving it so there you go you can see I'm having so much fun creating this wreath to me that is the uh, one of the fun things about crocheting is just creating and letting my creativity just run wild and trying to keep up with it my hands trying to keep up with my creative mind is one of the hardest things is but it's fun and i'm just having fun creating and i do have a vision that i'm going towards and so that's what i'm shooting for and i appreciate you watching and coming along with me on this adventure and hopefully we will be wrapping this wreath up pretty soon but i got more wreaths in the making <laughs> I have more projects that I'm going to be working on. Um, like I mentioned before, I have a strawberry gnome wreath. <clears throat> I have a Christmas wreath that I want to do. And also a girl in swinging in the garden wreath. So there you go. Come back. Watch the wreaths come together. And I will see you all again very soon. Bye, friends.